Mercedes, tell me a joke. Sorry, my engineers were Germans. What better way to start the day with not only one, but two SUVs to check out? And we're not talking about just any SUV. We are talking about the Swiss army knife of all midsize SUVs. The refreshed Mercedes GLC, and it's even sportier looking brother, the GLC Coupe. Now there is a lot of new to discover, and trust me, I'm going to put it all to the test. What's new with the GLC? First, many new design features. Then enhanced engines and driving abilities on and off-road. The cool MBUX with voice control is now in these models, as well as many safety features. Well, let's start with the looks, because that's what they always do here in Italy, right? One thing you'll notice right away is the GLC's character has evolved. It's got a much beefier, more muscular look. Up front, the reshaped three-dimensional radiator grille, and down here, a new bumper with much more visible underride protection. New as well is the design of the lights. These multi-beam LED headlights can react to different traffic situations, giving you the perfect light and visibility at all times. In the rear, the tail lights now have the design of the recent Mercedes family and brings full LED technology. And you may also notice the integrated exhaust tips into the rear apron. That comes part of the chrome package, which is now standard as well. If you want a more individual look, you can choose from a range of new wheel designs. Not only do they look great, but they are also aerodynamic enhanced. All right, enough of this standing still. Let's fire the engine up and put the GLC through its paces. What's special with the GLC is that the engineers dug really deep. They didn't only make changes to just the exterior. The engine department, for example, we have the GLC 300 powered by a new two liter petrol engine. But that's not all. It's combined with a 48 volt onboard electrical system with EQ boost. Want to know what that feels like? Let's find out. What I like the most is when the EQ boost is activated, you get 10 kilowatts and 150 extra Newton meters up to 2,500 RPM. Plus, you can win energy back by braking, or you can just put it in sail mode. Whee! To manage all that tech, the GLC offers Dynamic Select, where we have four different settings. We can choose between Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. Each mode affects the character of how the engine, the transmission, and the steering all work together, making it suitable for any situation. In our GLC, we have the air body control option. It's basically a multi-chamber air suspension that can cater to any driving style, anything from comfort to sport plus. To show you guys just how wide the range of the suspension really is, we decided to do a little challenge. So our next shooting location is about 10 kilometers away from here, on road, and about seven kilometers off road, which is the route I'm gonna take, and then I'm gonna send the production team and the GLC coupe in the on road route and see who gets there first. You guys ready? GLC is equipped with the all-wheel drive system called Formatic. In our car, it distributes 45% of the power to the front and 55% to the rear. Pretty balanced, but still very sporty, as I will now demonstrate. It's crazy how steady the body of the GLC is in tight corners. That is due to the air body control that I mentioned. It controls the dampening automatically on each individual wheel, depending on the driving situation and road surface, in milliseconds. Now the guys in the coupe profit from that as well. This is a problem, but the air suspension will allow me to raise the ground clearance. Now, the coupe has the same thing, so besides just being able to raise it, it will also lower it, stiffening the springs 
and the dampening, and it'll create less drag. So now I really gotta catch him. I've driven numerous off-road monsters in crazier conditions, but I'm honestly surprised with what the GLC can do. Now can I beat his dynamic brother? Do it? Did I make it? Are they here yet? <laughs> I think I did it. Yes! <laughs> you made it! You're the winner. Well, it's okay. I still like but you. Next time, I will. You, next time you take I the, the off-road off route. route. And then it's okay. No. Let's go have some spaghetti. Yes. Okay. Let's take a look inside, guys. All over the place, you'll see new trim elements and colors. Now our coupe, which is basically the same cockpit as our GLC, is equipped with the AMG line. The most prominent is this new generation of the high-tech steering wheel. Now, if you guys are really into details, you might want to check out the AMG Sport pedals in brushed stainless steel. By the way, there are a few things that you should never do when you're in Italy. Never forget your sunglasses, eating spaghetti with a knife, ordering cappuccino after noon, and take a car that does not have a sunroof. Lucky for me, the GLC has a very large sunroof that literally floods the entire cabin with light. And the coolest thing is, is that it can operate it from outside of the car with the key. If you forgot to close the sunroof and the rain is coming, don't worry about it. It closes automatically. SUV, you want as much space as you can get. Not only do we have a very roomy rear seat, but you can fold them down to get more room in the trunk. And the GLC has an electronic tailgate. Now, to make loading heavier stuff much easier, you can lower the rear end of the car by using the air body control, and it'll take it down to about 40 millimeters lower. Now, of course, the GLC has the latest safety and assistance features that Mercedes has to offer. Let's find out how they work. The driving assistance package contains a load of those safety features. With them, the GLC is clearly well on the way towards automated driving. One is the active distance assist distronic. It can automatically help to maintain a distance from the car in front of me. Oh, just like that. The GLC has an active brake assist as standard. Whenever the car recognizes the danger of a collision, it can give a visual and audible warning. Should that not be enough, the system is able to initiate braking when a possible collision is detected. This works with other vehicles, riders, or pedestrians ahead. Another feature that subliminally supports the driver is the active steering assist. It keeps the car centered in its lane and slightly corrects if the driver starts to wander. If parking isn't one of your strong points, the GLC is willing to help if you use the active parking assist. All you have to do is drive down the parking lane at 35 kph or less, and it will automatically recognize a possible spot. Oh, okay, it found one. I'm gonna go ahead and take that spot. Okay, confirming and engaging reverse. All right, everything else is done automatically. All right, guys, how cool is this? <laughs> and we're in. How cool is that? Holy moly. I didn't have to do anything. If you decide that you want to park the car yourself, the 360 degree camera comes in very handy. You guys ready for lunch? Of course, the MBUX is now part of the new GLC and is nothing less than the benchmark in car multimedia. It lets you control car settings, radio, navigation, your smartphones, and other cool stuff. You can control this via touchscreen by these touch control buttons in the steering wheel, via the new touchpad in the center console, which replaces the wheel that was there before, or by voice control like, hey Mercedes, how may I help you? Can you lower the temperature? 
I'm setting the temperature on the front passenger to minimum. <laughs> of course you have seen the GLC coupe by now. So let's take a closer look at the GLC's even sportier looking brother. Now it keeps the distinctive silhouette, yet the difference starts right here with the dropping roof line and the strong muscular shoulders. With the coupe that we have here, not only do we have the AMG line interior, which I've already shown you, we also have the AMG line exterior. For example, we have the sportier looking air intakes, the shiny diamond radiator grille, the four piston brake calipers, with the Mercedes lettering, making sure that you have all of the stopping power that you need. Even with the dynamic shape of the coupe, there is still a lot of room. In regards to stowage capacity, it's in the top of its class. And as far as trunk space goes, it's up there with its competitors as well. And how this thing drives? You remember that it took second on our little competition earlier? But this did not have anything to do with its abilities. In our case, it features the same two liter petrol engine with EQ boost and is just the perfect buddy on twisty mountain roads. The benchmark in automotive multimedia systems is also on board the coupe. The MBUX with all its features, including voice control. And speaking of benchmark, of course you can get all the latest safety features as well in the coupe, such as Distronic, Active Steering Assist, Active Brake Assist, and so on and so forth. Well, my day with the GLC and the GLC Coupe has come to an end. What I love about both of them is they perform great on and off-road. They have the new MBUX and they have the latest safety features. So it's really up to you if you want the more sportier look or you prefer the classic silhouette. Either way, they're both really great cars. I'm out of here. We'll see you guys next time. If you want to see more about the Mercedes models, click up in this corner. If you'd like to watch more content, Click in this corner. We'll see you guys next time.